So, brothers, I want to ask you three questions you can answer at the end of the three. Do you guys accept the good news of God's grace in Christ Jesus as it has been revealed in the Holy Scriptures as the only way to eternal life? Secondly, do you acknowledge before all of us here that you're sinful by nature, but it, by the grace of God in Christ, all your sins, 100 percent of your sins are forgiven your slate is wiped clean and you are now living in a new land of grace and mercy peace with god and love for all mankind and thirdly do you promise to take full advantage of something called the means of grace the means of grace are the word of god the spirit of god christian fellowship prayer generosity ministry, service, small groups, all the spiritual disciplines so that you might continually grow and mature in this new life as a member of the body of Christ. Brad Neeson, what's your response to these three questions? Absolutely. Absolutely. Brad, would you go next? I was born in U.S. Minister, but raised in Surrey. Probably asked why. No hospital in Surrey then. <laughs> anyway, I've worked many years as a teacher's assistant, a social worker, as well as an ESL teacher overseas, especially in China and the Philippines. Right now, I'm trying to be the best person I can be for our father, and I'm actively searching for almost any kind of work I can do until I retire in a few years. I'm also trying to be as active as I can be with Home Church Langley because I have truly found a church where I feel very much at home. Thanks to all of you. But this, uh, today I'd, I want to tell you about a scary and challenging time I had when I was living overseas. I'd been working in the Philippines as an ESL teacher for about a year and I decided next I wanted to go to China via Hong Kong. I thought I had plenty of money for the journey, but while en route, I was informed that I had to pay a large amount of money and fees and taxes just to leave the country. I paid the money and went to Hong Kong, but was almost broke when I got there. I probably shouldn't have gone any further, but my next step was to cross the border to Shenzhen, China. That's where the real troubles began, since I didn't even have enough money to, to rent a room for the night. <laughs> They're coming to get me. <laughs> anyway, I met, a, I met a very kind person who took me to a place for the homeless. It was very late, and I was hungry and tired. He told me to lay down and rest, and that... He'd keep, keep an eye on me and get me something to eat. But it was so cold that I couldn't sleep at all. When he returned, I ate and felt a bit better, but was still very worried. Then the police showed up, and before I knew it, I was being interrogated at the police station. But they were actually very good to me. They fed me, but told me I couldn't stay in China. I had to go back to Hong Kong. They even gave me subway money to use when I got back to Hong Kong, so they were pretty good. In Hong Kong again, though, I had no place to stay, homeless again. I ended up in a tent city where I was fed and kept for about a month. I just didn't know what else to do. All during this time, I prayed and prayed for God to help me. I even asked him, why was this happening to me? I didn't see any, anything good in it, only bad. But finally I found out where the Canadian Embassy was and went there for help. Turns out it was very close by. After about two weeks, they were able to help me get back home to Langley. This experience has left a big mark. This experience left a big mark on me and it wasn't until I got back home and saw how much God had really taken care of me and took me under his wings when I, when I was there. As it says in Psalm 91, 
the Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust, my, trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. He really did. He took care of me by providing me with food, shelter, and keeping me out of danger. If it wasn't for him, I might not be standing here. I might not be here with all of you today. I've always believed in God and prayed and read my Bible right from the time I was a child. I went to Sunday school and as I got older I attended church. But it wasn't until the last couple of years that I really accepted Christ as my Savior and Lord. If I didn't have him in my life asking for his guidance every day, I know I wouldn't be able to do anything on my own. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Brad. And here to give a little word of encouragement to you is um, Bud Reiners. After this beautiful testimony, let us all assure you, you are home. This is home church. Brad, we thank God Almighty that he has placed you at this time in home church. And we thank our Father in heaven that he has called you to be baptized here today. We would encourage you to continue to ask him for his guidance every day and pray that he would keep you and provide for you and keep you out of danger and that you would feel safe in his presence. He is jealous for me Love's like a hurricane, I am a tree Bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy When all of a sudden I'm unaware of these afflictions Eclipsed by glory And I realize just how beautiful you are and how Great your affections are for me Oh, how he loves, yeah, he loves us Oh, how he loves us Oh, how he loves us Oh, how he loves And we are his portion and he is our prize Drawn to redemption by the grace in his eyes If his grace is an ocean, we're all sinking And heaven meets earth like an unforeseen kiss My heart turns violently inside of my chest I don't have time to maintain these regrets when I think about that he loves us Oh, how he loves us Oh 